through all of that data and um, evidence, we're able yeah. to look and say, this is where we're going to start heading next year. That's great. It's really a living document there, isn't it? And I remember seeing it all blown up in your wall when Marie and I came out in term one too, didn't we, Marie? Absolutely. It was yeah. yeah, yeah. Great to see it's really a working document. Yeah, it's such a collaborative document of leadership and the notion of being agile. I think you mentioned before agile because you're kind of agile agents of change and you're using that rubric to actually support that uh, where to next. And well done on the RE people for bumping yourselves back again, thinking, oh, we're not quite there yet because if you look at each one of the criteria and there's one word or two words that separate for the next one. So um, being so responsive and so collaborative, I think really does... Um, support you in honing in to where you are, that narrow, sharp focus. So I'm glad you've come back and had a really layback week. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> there are not many schools that have done what you've done, so congratulations. But you can see that you work from the, the collaboration of that spirit of collaboration, and we're all in this, stupid to say, but we're actually all in this together. And that's a, the epitome of what um, I think your leadership is about, that it's not one person, it's actually a team driving the agenda. So well done. So Brittany, did you want to talk any more or ask any more about RE at all? Um, I might just, yeah, I just want to reiterate really how I'm really proud and it's not even my school, but I'm really proud because it is, it's something that we say so often that, you know, it's not one person. Yes, there's often an REL in the school, but we are all expected to be leaders of faith within the Catholic school and part of that community. And this just is shown so lovely in this aspect of having faith integrated through all of that. And I, I know, you know, this year has obviously presented with its own set of challenges, but I can only see moving forward how, you know, you're just going to build strength on strength in this kind of model um, and bringing people together and owning, you know, that, that responsibility as a team. So I know there's been, even though, you know, <laughs> ladies keep saying, oh, we haven't done much you really and truly have and I you know Jenny said it I've said it I've seen it you have done lots and it has been a difficult space so you really should be congratulated within that particularly around that faith formation I said for families who perhaps didn't even say grace or anything before at a meal and are now parting, starting to do that that's massive and like Marie will often say you know it's not just the head in our eats the head the heart the hand that that's what you're changing and that's a massive change that you've just made and hopefully you know that's something that they carry on post COVID um you know hopefully that's their new COVID normal but look Congratulations, Jenny. I, I can only see a little bit of your head there, but honestly and truly, you should be so congratulated when we hear collaboration, inclusiveness, agile, you responsive, you prioritize, you delegate, there's resilience with all of you there. You've had um, teachable moments, the challenges you've met, you're thriving as a community. You should be so proud of yourselves. Mm -hmm. And But I do realize, as you said, We've looked at the SIF rubric and we've still got a way to go. So you're not sitting there on your laurels thinking, oh, we're fab. No, no, you're thinking, Let, let's keep our improvement agenda going. So well done, everyone. Um, 